My name is Julie Boyd and this is an e-textiles tutorial for Kitronic. If you find threading a needle difficult, especially when you're using conductive thread, which uh, frays very easily, um, it can be very handy to have a, a needle threader um, to help you. There are different types of needle threaders. I personally prefer this particular type um, as I find it's very sturdy and lasts a long time, whereas this type with a little wire um, at the end um, I find tends to break quite, quite quickly. To use this particular needle threader, you thread the um, little hook into the eye of the needle, so you will need to make sure that the eye of the needle is, is um, big enough um, to allow this little hook to go inside. You lay your thread just over the little hook just there and then pull it through. And then just pull the end of thread through and there you have your needle threaded. To thread your needle without a needle threader, um, a good tip is to make sure the end of this thread um, has just been cut. Um, if I just show you the um, other end of the thread, such so as the bottom end of the thread, you can see how um, it's fraying a lot, and that fraying makes the needle much, much more difficult to thread. A second tip um, would be to hold the um, end of the thread very close to your fingers. Um, so often I see people sort of doing this where they've got a good sort of centimetre or so um, away from their fingers. You want it nice and close so you can sort of squeeze the end of the thread together um, in order to pop it through um, the eye of the needle. If you don't succeed in threading your needle on the first go, um, um, because you've handled the end of the thread, um, it will start to fray. Um, um, so um, just clip that off with your scissors and try again. Just remember that all the cuttings, when you do this clipping, do that over a bin. You don't want your table to be covered in um, uh, lots of bits of conductive thread because that could short your circuit out later on.